Number Patterns to 99, Lesson 3.10. When we write all the numbers from 0 to 99, we can see patterns. A pattern is a set of numbers or things in which the order helps us to know what comes next. We see three pink, one green, three pink, one green, three pink, one green. Three pink and one green is the pattern. We can tell what's going to come next. It would be three pink, wouldn't it? When we can see the pattern of the ones place, we're starting with zero, and we can see all the ones in orange across the top. All the numbers below the zero have a zero in the ones place. All the numbers below the one have a one in the ones place. All the twos have a two in the two in the ones place. See that? And each number does that coming down. All the fives, all the sixes, all the sevens in the ones place. See that? See the pattern? We can see the pattern of the tens place also. It goes one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And it does that in every column. See that? They all go from one to nine in every column all the way to the end. We can see the pattern of counting by tens. We're going to start with zero on our chart. So underneath it, we have 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. We can see the pattern of two digit numbers with the same digits. We're starting with zero. And when we go down and to the right, we have an 11. It's a 1-1. One, one. When we go down and to the right, we have 22, a 2 and a 2. When we go down and the right again, we have a 3-3, three, three, a 33. 44, 55, 66, 77, 88, 99. See the pattern? We can see the pattern of the 1s and the tens. See the tens plus the ones? We have a 10. And like an addition table, if we add a 1, we're going to get an 11. If we have a 50 and we add a 6, we're going to get a 56. See that? But that's because we're starting with a 0 up here. OK? When we write the numbers starting with zero, it makes different patterns than if we start with a one. We've been using a zero to 99 chart. It starts with a zero up in this corner. But a hundred board starts with a one in this corner. It ends in 100. The zero to 99 chart starts with a zero and stops with a 99. Because we put this zero here in front of the one, we added an, another digit to our chart in the front, see? Because it starts with a one and there's no zero here, we could add another digit to the end of the chart, a 100 after the 99, see that? When we count by tens, it's along the left side of this chart for the zero to 99 chart. But on the 100 board, it's on the right side, see? And all the 9s in the 1s place are next to it here. We're on this chart. They're all at the end. See the difference? That's a 100 board that starts with a 1. That's a 0 to 99 chart that starts with a 0. If we color all the squares that have a 3 in the 1s place and a 3 in the 10s place, we can see the patterns. On the 100 board that starts with a 1, if we color all the squares that have a 3 in the 1's place, we would color all of these coming down. And if we color all the squares that have a 3 in the 10's place, we would go to here and stop because 40 doesn't have a 3 in the 10's place. 
on the 0 to 99 chart, we would come all the way down with all the squares that have a 3 in the 1's place. But when we do the 3 in the 10's place, it would go all the way across, wouldn't it? See? Because now 40 is down here in the next line. See the difference? So we're going to be using a 100 board that starts with a 1. And using a 100 board, we can color all the squares that have a 3 in the tens place. I colored them all yellow. And that even means I had to do this one up here. That's got a 3 in the tens place, right? 30. Then we can circle all the numbers that have 3 more 1s than tens. So that's tricky. So I circled 14. 14 has 110. For it to have three more ones than tens, that would be three more than one. That would be one plus three. So it would have to have four ones, wouldn't it? So that would be a 14. See? I circled the 25. It has two tens. And to have three more ones than it has tens, we would have to add three to that two to get a five for the ones place. See how I'm doing that? So each number I circled, there are three more ones than tens. For 36, the 6 has three more ones than there are tens. For 47, there's three more ones than there are tens. See? 4 plus 3 is 7. For 58, there's three more ones than there are tens. There's 5 plus 3 would be 8 ones. So see how it's three more ones, then there are tens, okay? So, looking at this chart, which number is circled and colored? It would be the 36, wouldn't it? The 36 is circled and colored, isn't it? That's where the two patterns met, isn't it? That's where they intersected, okay? So those are number patterns to 99. You're going to be working with a 100 board that starts with a 1, okay? I hope this was helpful, and I hope you're having a great day. I'm really proud of you for watching math videos, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.